this is Karen Gephardt here at HAI Heli Expo in Las Vegas. We are at HAI Connect this afternoon, and I am pleased to be here with our Salute to Excellence winner, Maria Rodriguez, winner of the Apparel Pilot of the Year Award. Congratulations, Maria. Thank you, thank you. You're being recognized for tremendous work that you've done in the hurricane recovery on the Virgin Islands. Uh, you're obviously making the best of every situation you encountered. I think we'd like to know a little bit more on the flight missions that you flew following the hurricanes, and I understand you used a lot of social media to get international assistance. Tell us a little bit about the process and how that worked for you. Well, after the hurricanes, obviously it was very tough to uh, get up flying to find complete and total devastation, annihilation, um, and no internet, no phones, phone service, no indication that anyone knows anything. So we'd fly 120, 130 miles, three, four, five times a day uh, before Puerto Rico got hit. And um, it didn't matter if photo photos were blurry, videos weren't any good, it didn't matter. Just get that out there, let the world know what potentially could be coming to them at another island, maybe even going to the mainland United States, had to get the word out there to let the people know that it was going on. And so whenever we got to Puerto Rico, we'd be frantically trying to get some connection to send the, the, the photos and the videos. And it's just important because uh, to see it, it, complete annihilation like that is it's difficult um, in widespread areas, not just one area, multiple islands and communities completely destroyed. So it was important to do that. And it's a responsibility that we have as, as pilots, as especially helicopter pilots. Well, I can't imagine. I'm sure our audience is uh, amazed and impressed with the work that was accomplished. And it's just one example of what our industry does to help people in a time of crisis. I'm going to change the topic just a slight bit, as we are two women in aviation standing here. Uh, it's, it's a challenging career to enter into, but you have obviously accomplished that. Uh, tell us a little bit about how your journey was to uh, help other young women understand what a career in aviation in the helicopter industry might be. Well, I can't lie, and you would know, it is tough. Um, there's a lot of naysayers out there, and when I first started flying decades ago, I would fly for three or four weeks and not hear another female voice over the radio. Now I'm happy to say I fly and I hear sometimes for two hours only female voices and it's just very gratifying. Um, however it is tough, I say go for it. Um, stare down the naysayers. You just, just have to keep trying and doing what you do. And um, saying yes to a lot of opportunities is good, um, even if it's outside your comfort zone, because you may find something there that you didn't realize you would uh, be comfortable with. So it's difficult, but it's definitely doable, and I love it. I wouldn't have changed a thing, and um, it's, it's a, a load of freedom. <laughs> wow, that's inspiring. I hope every young woman out there heard what Maria had to say, because we certainly need more folks like Maria. And thank you so much for the work that you did. Please be sure to join us at the Salute to Excellence Award Dinner tomorrow night when we honor Maria and the other award winners. And in the meantime, on the mobile app, take a look at the show icon for the Salute to Award winners and read Maria's bio. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you.